Hey there, friends. Guess what I just read? I just read an article on World Net Daily that Occupy Wall Street has an initiative to put in place a world currency. Now, I wonder where this idea came from and how many people who are participating in the protest even know about this, care about this, or even want this. If this is true, this is just more proof that there are masterminds behind the movement who has a sneaky agenda to wipe out capitalism and thus the United States as we know it. And they want to implement a new, more unified socialist or Marxist world. As I go through this article in this video, please make a note of the following. The discussion about introducing a global electronic currency. References to the dismantling of capitalism. The multiple mentions of the Soros and the White House connection. Okay, that's it. Here's the article. Let me know what you think. Group working with Occupy Wall Street is proposing a global alternative currency system to replace the currencies of individual nations. An online group calling itself OWS Currency is working to devise an alternative currency system for participants at Occupy Wall Street. According to the group's charter, Occupy Wall Street and subsequent occupations prove that the people are eager for a new system, states OWS Currency. Let's help them build it. The online working group is being coordinated by the Foundation for Peer-to-Peer -Peer Alternatives, or P2P Foundation, which writes its mission is to produce free-slash-open-source technologies that help people create their own alternatives to the Federal Reserve note and the system upon which it derives its strength. Achieving this simply requires us to construct an alternative system that does a superior job meeting people's needs. As the foundation, the currency project seeks to utilize several conceptual organizations already in existence that are attempting to create an alternative currency, including something called Bitcoin. One of the partners associated with all this is Lessig, a Lawrence Lessig, the creator of Creative Commons. Lessig was a technology advisor to President Obama during the 2008 presidential campaign. He has been mentioned as a future candidate to head the Federal Communication Commission, the FCC. He is an activist for reduced legal restrictions on copyright material. WND previously reported Lessig works closely with Robert W. McChesney, an avowed Marxist who favors the dismantling of capitalism. McChesney founded Free Press, a George Soros-funded organization with close ties to the White House that petitions for more government control of the news media. Lessig has penned numerous op-ed pieces with McChesney, and the duo have worked together on numerous media projects. WND previously reported Free Press published a study advocating the development of a world-class government-run media system in the U.S. In May, WND reported Free Press Policy Director Ben Scott was named a policy advisor for innovation at the State Department. McChesney is a professor at the University of Illinois and former editor of the Marxist journal, Monthly Review. Quote, in the end, there's no real answer but to remove brick by brick the capitalist system itself, rebuilding the entire society on socialist principles, wrote McChesney in a column. The Board of Free Press, meanwhile, has included a slew of radicals such as Obama former Green Job Czar Van Jones, who resigned after his founding of a communist organization was exposed. Obama's internet czar Susan P. Crawford spoke at a free press May 14, 2009, Changing Media Summit in Washington, D.C., revealed the book The Manchurian President. Crawford's pet project, One Web Now, lists as participating organizations, free press, and the controversial Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now, or Acorn. Crawford and Kevin Werbach, who co-directed the Obama Transitions Federal Communication Commission review team, are advisory board members at Public Knowledge, a Soros-funded public interest group. A Public Knowledge advisory board member is Timothy Wu, who is also chairman of the board for Free Press. Like Public Knowledge, Free Press also received funds from Soros' Open Society Institute. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.